In a nation as small as this, you never know who might turn up to watch the sunset. The return of Jose Ramos Horta as president in May has focused new attention on an old rivalry over the oil and gas riches in the Timor Sea. A prosperous, stable Timor-Leste is in Australia's best interest because Timor-Leste should fit in the, in the geography of uh, Australia's uh, greater uh, strategic interest. East Timor, or Timor-Leste, wants to strike a deal with Australian energy giant Woodside over a new oil and gas deposit called Greater Sunrise. And if Greater Sunrise did not go ahead, would Timor-Leste run out of money? Well, uh, not immediately, uh, but uh, within uh, 10 years we could run out of money. It would be catastrophic. So it's make or break for yeah, Timor-Leste? absolutely. Woodside insists the gas from the $50 billion project should be processed in Darwin. But Timor Lester says it should process the gas to reap the benefits of job creation and additional profits. We need to have a great sunrise operational, commercially, maximum within the next seven, eight years. So we have to make a decision by the end of this year. President Ramos Horta is intensifying the pressure on Australia, making it clear his country has other options if Australia won't support his plan. We will work with Indonesia, we will work with South Korea or with China if necessary. Timor-Leste is one of the poorest countries in Asia. It's often struggled to assert its authority with its wealthy southern neighbour. The oil and gas deposits of the Timor Sea have often been a source of tension with Australia. What could turn this decades-old dispute in East Timor's favour is its relationship with China. I think um, Timor-Leste is in a stronger position not merely because of China. Timor-Leste is in a stronger position because of the energy demand uh, in the region and worldwide. And I think Timor-Leste could become a player in the regions and provide solutions. Canberra is on high alert after China signed a security agreement with Solomon Islands in April. <laughs> President Ramos Horta believes his country's strategic importance surpasses that of the Solomons. Timor-Leste is very strategic. When you look on the map, far more strategic than Solomon Islands and Gardi. Why? We are uh, one hour flight to Darwin, uh, one hour to Indonesia, uh, three hours to Singapore. So we are in a very vital uh, strategic waterway. You don't need to go far to see evidence of China's growing presence around Dili. 400 Chinese workers have been flown in for the construction of a deep water port that will turn Timor-Leste into a maritime hub. Smaller projects are also of interest to China. Today, China's ambassador is handing over a new soccer field paid for by Beijing. Why are you doing this project? So actually, this project was uh, initiated by the, our foreign minister when he visited Timor Leste. This year is the 20 years anniversary of the diplomatic ties between our two countries. So I think the handover and the completion of the football field is also tribute to our friendship relationship over the past 20 years. Should Australians be concerned <laughs> about the growing influence of China? I, I, I have no idea whether Australia is concerned about the influence from China. Some people in Australia, though, say that China said it would not militarise the South China Sea, but it has done so. 
Do you think there's a reason that people are suspicious sometimes of China's words? No, I, I, I mean, today I'm the ambassador to Timor Leste, so I prefer to talking about the bilateral relations and how to consolidate our existing cooperation. So some other issues. I think. Uh, okay. <laughs> is, uh, thank you. Thank you. you for your time. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. One of the problems Australia faces is its past behaviour has damaged trust with the Timorese. During previous oil and gas negotiations, Australian intelligence was famously caught bugging the offices of East Timor's negotiators. Waiting offshore, the Australian Secret Intelligence Service were listening to the meetings. Officers stood on a moored ship and had direct line of sight to the Cabinet Office. The recordings were then driven across town to the Australian Embassy. It gave Australia a massive commercial advantage over this new nation of one million people. At the time of the espionage operation, Australia was the richest country in Asia and we were stealing from the poorest country in Asia. I would imagine the Timorese negotiating side would have difficulty believing and trusting uh, any assurances we may give them. Have you recovered trust in Australia? Yes, there are different people, completely different people. Under the leadership of Anthony Albanese, uh, I'm very confident that uh, Australia will look at Timor-Leste as part of its national strategic interest. So you would never allow a Chinese military base in no, Timor-Leste? No, no. We have a responsibility to our neighbours, to Australia, to Indonesia, to other Southeast Asian countries, not to allow Timor-Leste uh, to be a base for any hostile power or power that is perceived by our neighbours to be potentially hostile. In the middle of these dramatic geopolitics is Woodside. The company must now decide whether the project can be profitable if East Timor processes the gas from Greater Sunrise. If Woodside decide to leave the project, it is entirely up to them and uh, I think uh, we should be ready uh, for whatever scenarios. Even uh, that's without Woodside, we have to find some other partners to work together. No one should take anyone for, uh, for granted. Maybe Australia will uh, extend a bigger hand of friendship, agree to bring the pipeline to Timor-Leste.